Dr. Leslie Laking, a good friend, told me on an occasion at the RBG that the best hire they ever made was Mark Runciman. 36 years later, we can all thank Alan Patterson for his insight on interviewing Mark and offering him his life's work. I first met Mark 28 years ago as a new board member. Who knew the trials, the tribulations, the toil, the triumphs that took us from then to now? Mark led us into this period of, of growth by working with the, our, the ministry and our other funders and the community. And a couple of examples are the building that we're standing in right now, um, which was built maybe 12 or 13 years ago, the atrium, uh, as well as the, the Rock Garden uh, Revitalization and the Visitor Center. Both these buildings are key to us drawing more visitors and, and growing in the community. It gave Peter and our grandson Luke, aged 11, and I great pleasure to cut the ribbon for your beautifully designed Camilla and Peter Dalglish atrium. We are all so proud of it. The Elder Shot Escarpment Garden, the development of the Helen M. Kipax uh, Native Plant Garden, the rejuvenation of the what was in my youth a wonderful place, the Rock Garden. I was so happy to see that back into a restored state with a wonderful new uh, visitor center and the revitalization of the Rose Garden. And I'm sure you would say, Mark, well, you know what? These are accomplishments of the entire team, but it takes uh, some great leadership to make it all happen. So thank you, Mark, for a wonderful, wonderful contributions to our community. Mark's work at RBG has had an incredible impact on the community. And you really can't underestimate everything that he's brought to this organization. He describes other people sometimes as being Mr. RBG, or bleeding RBG, you know, he'll describe somebody as if you cut them open, you know, um, blood won't come out, it'll be RBG. But I, I think that that is, describes him instead of the, the, other, the other people. He really is synonymous here and in the community with RBG. So I read something the other day that made me think of Mark. It was a quote about great leadership. It goes like this. We call them great leaders because they go first, because they will take the risk before anybody else does because they will choose to sacrifice so their people will be safe and protected. Mark has led by example, encouraged others to grow, and like every great leader, he has delivered on an amazing, incredible vision. Mark, it's time to walk off into that retirement sunset. Time for you to enjoy your family and bask in the glory days of RBG. You took this place to new heights and helped RBG realize its dreams and build its aspirations. We will make sure those aspirations come to life in the years to come. Mark is a very humble, unassuming individual, but what he has accomplished here at RBG under adverse conditions is truly amazing. As my wife said to me, Mark is the most dynamic leader RBG has seen since Alan Patterson. Something I know, Mark, you will consider as a great compliment. The turbulent times the RBG endured during the early years of this century were not easy, especially on Mark and his fellow staff members. RBG went through six CEOs with Mark having to step in two times as intern CEO until the board finally saw the light and made it permanent in 2005. Since that time, Mark, under Mark's capable hands, it is nice to see stability return to this great institution. I know it was not easy, Mark, but it must be so rewarding to see your perseverance and dedication pay off. I just want to take this opportunity to salute you, to tribute you on the extraordinary job you've done at the Royal Botanical Gardens. You've had passion, dedication, sacrifice, sensitive leadership. You've developed other leaders. You've had so many major achievements. Mark has worked his way through the ranks of the Royal Botanic Garden to emerge as its leader. And with each and every position, Mark has earned the right to move forward. I mean, have you seen that mustache, that picture of him being acting director in 1994, 1995? That mustache is totally authentic for that time period. So you know that he always meant what he said. During your 15 year career as CEO, you have guided Royal Botanical Gardens through a major period of transition. 
culminating in a vibrant organization serving the whole RBG family. The approval by RBG's Board of Directors in May of this year of the 25-year master plan allows you to retire knowing that you have left a roadmap for the organization going forward. This will secure its long-term financial stability and its ever important role in the community and beyond. But another part of Mark's legacy that we have is uh, in the Breezeway Garden. Uh, the Breezeway is actually part of our Mediterranean garden inside Hendry Park, and it is a seasonal garden. Uh, we decorate it based on uh, Christmas or Thanksgiving or whatever the season is at the time. And the board of directors here at RBG for 2020 have decided to dedicate the Breezeway in Mark's name. And I think that's one of the most special legacies we could have because that, that actual area was one of his first projects when he started in 1984. Hi Mark, happy retirement. Thank you for everything you've done to support me in my job over the years. Thank you for giving me the opportunity to move to Canada. Happy retirement, enjoy it, you deserve it, thank you. It's been a pleasure working with you here at RBG. You've accomplished a lot uh, and, and I, I really wish you and your family the best uh, in the future. We've known each other for a long time now and reconnected when I came here to RBG and we collaborated on the Rock Garden Refresh and the Rose Garden Refresh. It's been great, Mark. Please stay in touch, and above all, let's stay connected. Take care. Mark, I just want to wish you all the best in your future endeavors and your retirement. I'm sure it will take a little adjustment to relax after all your decades of hard work at RBG. Congratulations on the retirement and the many years here serving at RBG. I just wanted to wish you all the best with your family and grandchildren. And uh, thank you very much for your support in rebuilding the uh, conservation areas. As you know, a 36 year run, it's not something special without the people you have. And I know your wife, Kathy, and your family have supported you through all these years. All the best to you, sir, and it's been a pleasure. Thank you very much for my wife and my family. Well, Mark, it's been an amazing bunch of years. Thank you so much for your time, your patience, your guidance, and your enthusiasm. We couldn't be where we are today without you. Uh, it's going to be uh, very big fill, shoes to fill, uh, as they say, going forward. But I wish you and uh, Kathy the very best in the next phase of your life. Mark, I hope you enjoy your retirement, um, and I'd like you to know that I hope you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed the years that I got to work here at the RBG alongside of you. I guess the first thing I want to say is um, how grateful I am to have worked with you, Mark. Um, it's only been three years, but honestly, I've had an amazing experience with you. I want to thank you for your leadership and all that you have done to support me. Uh, through my time at RBG, and I just want to wish you the absolute best um, in your next stage of your life. Well-deserved retirement. We will very much miss you here at RBG. I know I will. Well, thank you, Mark. Thanks for everything. I've enjoyed every minute, and uh, it's all been crazy, but it's all been fun. Thanks. So sad to see him going, but at the same time, so happy for him that he's going to be with his family and enjoying uh, a great retirement uh, at still pretty young age. I won't give that away. And as you sail off into retirement, you will be missed, but your accomplishments will never be forgotten. Congratulations, Mark. Amazing career. Ron Foxcroft, out. I wish you many, many years of a brilliant, happy retirement for all of the hard work you put in to make our city and our communities better. Mark, we'll miss you for your authentic, quiet leadership. Happy retirement. You have been amazing. You have brought beauty and the joy of plants to all of us in Ontario. All the best for your retirement and have a wonderful time with those grandchildren. On behalf of the Board of Directors of RBG, I wish to extend a heartfelt thank you. May you enjoy a much deserved, long, happy and healthy retirement. I wish you all the very best, Mark, in your retri in retirement. Truly, RBG will not be the same without you. You will be greatly missed and fondly remembered. Thank you, Mark, for shouldering the responsibility for so many 
for so long.